my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 573 in this lecture we will try to understand nestrow accelerated gradient neg before understanding this lecture i request you to go through my previous lecture that is lecture number 572 we have seen sgd plus momentum in the previous lecture very powerful concept where we are using exponential weighing to create a momentum there is a rela related algorithm called nestrow accelerated gradient and this is by russian mathematician called yuri nestrov he also has very nice nice book on optimization so nestrov accelerated gradient is very similar technique to sgd plus momentum with certain differences let me explain this let's assume this is my wt minus 1 let's assume gradient is pointing in this direction what is the gradient uh, gradient is mm, gradient means eta into g of t isn't it this is my gradient eta into g of t whenever i say my momentum what is my momentum term my momentum term is gamma into vt minus 1 what is my gradient term eta into eta into gt isn't it just say this a gradient term moving in this direction just see if you observe this particular diagram your gradient is moving in this direction isn't it let's say your momentum move your momentum moves in this particular direction eventually what do we do in sgd plus momentum we eventually move in which direction that is resultant of this plus this this is resultant one isn't it isn't it momentum plus vector i can say it is something like vector addition it is uh, it is something like uh, some of the both some some of the both of them isn't it your momentum term this is a vector this is a vector this is momentum step this is a gradient this is also a this one vector yes if you add these two vectors this will be the resulting vector this is sum of momentum and i can say this is both sum of momentum and gradient this is the uh, resultant vector what is this this is i can say resultant vector so this is the actual step that resultant vector is also known as i can say it is this is actual actual step otherwise resultant uh, vector isn't it this is my wt this is my wt is isn't it uh, this is uh, that this is wt minus 1 yes this is what happened in sgd plus momentum what is this this particular technique is sgd plus momentum which we discussed in our previous class is isn't it now let's see what happened in neg that is nestrow accelerated gradient in neg in neg slightly it is slightly different what is my uh, just see what is my uh, this one uh, wt wt equal to wt minus 1 this is the step isn't it what is this wt equal to wt minus 1 minus eta into vt vt minus uh, gamma into vt minus 1 plus eta into gt isn't it this is my this is my momentum term yes which one is momentum term this one is momentum term eta into gt this one is gradient term isn't it i am moving uh, 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 and i am moving the sum of these two terms isn't it moment momentum term plus gradient term isn't it so what nestrow accelerated gradient says is first compute momentum yes first what you have to do in the case of nestrow gradient first you compute momentum 
isn't it? First compute the momentum, move in the momentum direction. First you have to move in the momentum direction. First move there. Just see, first move here. Yes, first move there. But what happened? First you have to go there. Go to W, w dash, isn't it? First move there. How will you move? By using momentum step. At W dash, what you have to do? First move to W dash and compute the gradient at this point. Just see. After moving to W dash, what you have to do? You have to compute the gradient at W dash. And gradient at this point, here your G dash is gradient at W dash. Isn't it? That's important. What is your G dash? G dash is gradient at W dash. Isn't it? These two gradients. Here also you are calculating gradient. This gradient, this, the gradient which you are calculating is GD plus momentum is different from the gradient which you are calculating in NAG. Why? Because you are calculating gradient at W dash in the case of NAG. These two gradients, first we must have clarity that these two gradients are not same. These, these two gradients are pointing in different direction. Just see the direction. In the case of momentum update, this is this direction is like this. These directions are different, isn't it? If you speak strictly, they, they are not same, isn't it? It says, it says take the momentum term, you will reach here. In the case of NAG, what happens? Just take the momentum term and you will reach here. Isn't it? You will you you, you will reach uh, here in the sense uh, at at this point. Uh, let me call that point as let this let call this W dash. Compute the gradient. After reaching W dash, you have to compute gradient at W dash and uh, and move in this direction. Is isn't it? So eventually, eventually, what you are doing here is eventually you are moving from W T minus one to wt isn't it eventually this is your uh, wt this is your wt and the, of course this is your wt so uh, so to write it mathematically what it says the first first it says first move in the momentum term yes in mathematical terms how can i say yes just say mathematically wt equal to wt minus 1 just say this one wt eta into this is ga, uh, sorry gamma into vt minus 1 this is this is momentum term gamma into vt minus 1 isn't it first move there how can i move by using momentum step that is gamma into vt minus 1 the first move there first when i move there i will i will reach my w dash it says compute gradient at w dash isn't it so let me write it as Computing gradient at W dash is that is eta into this one. You are calculating, you are calculating gradient here. That is that part is eta into G dash. Your G dash is G dash is gradient at W dash, whereas your G is gradient at this point. At this point, isn't it? Your G dash is different from G. These two gradients are different. That we must understand. Isn't it? These gradients are not same. Look at this. Um, just see this gradient. Calculating gradient here is different from calculating gradient here. Isn't it? Let's let's, let's uh, look look, uh, uh, look, look at, at these uh, uh, these uh, these contours. Uh, uh, look, look at these. Suppose I have these contours. Gradient you compute here. Let, let me say, say this is. This is W T minus one. You you are calculating gradient means you will get this direction, isn't it? Gradient you compute here is in this direction, but gradient you compute here. For example, you are ca calculating momentum. After calculating momentum, you are calculating gradient. Th this is uh, this is in the case of NAG, is it? Is it? it is, they are not same. Suppose this is my W T minus one. If my momentum says this direction, if my momentum says this direction, if I compute the gradient, uh, again I have to compute the gradient, gradient this direction. But in the case of SGD plus momentum, here only I will calculate gradient. Therefore, your G dash is not equal to G. 
isn't it when um, then what what is your g dash what is your g dash your g dash equal to do l by do w at w t minus 1 minus eta into v t minus 1 isn't it how how will it be how will, how do you reach this point first what you what you have to do for calculating g dash what you have to do this is uh, this is w dash point first you have to reach w dash how will you reach w dash by using this momentum that is w t minus e, uh, eta into v t minus 1 that is w dash isn't it just compute the gradient at this point at which point you have to calculate gradient at, at w t minus e, e, eta gamma into v t minus 1 this is nothing but w dash is nothing but uh, w t minus gamma into e, uh, v t minus 1 what is uh, let me rewrite this one what is my w t just i am rewriting this w t equal to w t minus gamma this is momentum term this is gradient term what is my g dash g dash you are calculating derivative at w dash what is my w dash this is my w dash just i am rewriting this even i can write it as let me say this one this part just this this part i am assuming as gamma into what is this this uh, this part gamma into v t minus 1 plus eta into g dash i am assuming as as a v t therefore i can write this equ equation as w t equal to w t minus 1 in this place i am writing v t why because this is this term is v t it is simple mathematic just i am keeping i am just, just i am rewriting so so the core so the core difference is in the case of hgd plus momentum at this point you are computing at which point at this particular point in the case of hgd plus momentum at this point you are computing your in the case of hgd plus momentum at this point you are computing both the gradient and momentum yes you are calculating here only gradient here only momentum and summing this uh, after calculating and summing them up isn't it in the case of neg national neg what you are doing is first you are computing momentum isn't it first you are computing in the case of neg first you are computing momentum then you are calculating gradient here A gradient first you are computing uh, mo momentum term mo mo and you are computing after calculating momentum term by using w dash equal to w t minus 1 minus gamma into v t minus 1 isn't it then you are computing gradient you are computing gradient on the resultant point which is resultant point w dash is resultant point is, isn't it w dash is resultant point at that particular point you are calculating isn't it this is uh, um, th this i can say this is uh, uh, that's what i'm saying in sgd plus momentum at this point only you are computing both you are computing momentum step as well as gradient step whereas this is step one you are calculating w dash at w dash you are calculating this particular derivative that is this is the actual path isn't it sum of one and two that is vector summation isn't it you will get your resultant you can go from w t minus one to w t isn't it neg is slightly better than sgd plus momentum but for all practical reasons sgd plus momentum and neg works very very similar or they work fairly well actually both of them work fairly well in both the cases just go through this lecture if you have any difficulty please keep a comment thank you very much